With a box build, probably have three parts, maybe four. Um, for some reason, I'm just slow. I don't know. I can't. I'm bad at video editing. Everybody edits their videos, so that's why I have so many. Let's jump on it, I guess. Um, this. I need this. That's over here. And I'll drop that bad boy in here. Okay. So, start off every bolt, every screw, everything you ever screw into something right by hand. And I probably won't tighten that one until I get it all glued up tomorrow. I'll do the rest. This one is kind of questionable as well. And it's so close to the edge. I mean, you can see that whoever made this box, and maybe it's a custom one, I have no idea. It's a homie hookup, so. Uh, they did not do a very good job with the jig stop, man. I mean, it is fucked up. It just does not, it's not a perfect circle, you know what I mean? They did it by eyeball. But. That's alright. You know what the fuck you're doing, you can make it better. Like what I'm doing here. These threaded inserts adapt into your box, allowing you to bolt down your speakers so you eliminate vibrations. Okay, so you just want to go a little bit to get it started in there. And then. This is your slide. Like I said, it's a piece of shit, this one. Uh, it doesn't want to slide, but it's supposed to slide over your bit entirely. And it drops down right on top of it. So if you were to boom and you slip, the slide's covering the pointed part of the drill bit. So it would just hit a round part and hopefully not go through, but it probably still would. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not even going to try to put that one in. This one might have to wait as well Oof. yeah I'm gonna wait on that one but you get the gist of it so tomorrow like I said on my last video tomorrow I'm gonna have to get more glue because I, I, I thought I had some but I guess I didn't uh, I'll get a little bit more wood glue put a dab on each of these and then put them back in and then we're gonna vacuum out the entire box I'm gonna put a little a uh, square of sound detonator on each terminal cup on the inside and that's what that's called a, that right there is a terminal cup so a little dab on the inside a little square of it should uh, take away any kind of vibration that it might have or give off um, they're actually pretty decent because they came with a little foam backing strip on them to uh, cushion it you know uh, like I said these are this is a ported box. It's actually got a little strap on it, like boom box. That's why I'm doing this to it. Because once I get this done and I get it all sealed, I might even 45 the uh, the internals at least. Right here by the port, I was thinking just 45 that maybe. And then, you know, see what I got for scraps and just put them in there. And then uh, staple them in. Fiberglass resin, coat the entire box. And uh, should be all gravy after that, man. I mean, it. It might change it, it might make it worse, might make it better. I'm hoping it makes it better. Uh, it's just six by nine, so I don't really have to do any kind of structural, but you, I mean, you could put like a little tiny square beam in there on each side, and that would help. But it's actually got a piece of wood right here that, that splits it. So it's separated chambers, and they're probably tuned, which is why the 45 might make it sound worse. I'm, um, I'm guessing that People will say, ah, you know, prefab boxes, they're not tuned and shit. Right, they're not tuned for your speaker, but all boxes have tuning. You know, you just measure it and you find out your tuning. You measure height, width, length, and then you do a little bit of math and stuff. And I, I think EXO covered that, but, you know, I don't know if you're a fan of EXO, but go ahead and check his stuff out. Because uh, I watch him, like, <laughs> every day, religiously. Anyway... Uh, I'm done for the day, I believe. Uh, that's how it's gonna look. And then we're gonna get them six by nine back in there tomorrow. Like that, bam. So, 
anybody who said that it doesn't look straight that six by nine fit right on top of all four of them bolts just perfectly This one needs to be fixed, and I realized when I was doing it, I said that hole looks really, really off. It's not the hole; it's the fucking dude who did this shit before. So this has to go over here, and that's no biggie. But I do have to drill that hole out. So that's how that's how I am on this this channel. What happens happens, man. I'm covering up. Everybody else let their, their mistakes out so they can look like pros. Not me. I'll show you the challenges that you're going to have so you do not get discouraged to do what you need to be getting done. And this fat boy right here, you know, he's getting shit done. I'm even sick right now. This turned into a much bigger project than what I expected. I was like, yeah, I just put these in there. Won't take too long. Sure enough, I've been out here for about. 30 minutes doing this shit. Okay. Done, done, done. Done and done. Right on. And then, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get this done, and then I'm gonna make a different video on this shit. So you guys can watch the video of me soldering this shit over here after the box video. Um, you guys don't know how to solder, I'll teach you how to solder. Um, it's very easy. Uh, I'll teach you how to solder with a $5 or $7 Walmart solder if you'd like. Um, I've been soldering with those my entire life, and, uh, I, I get, I do work, man, I, I get stuff done. Uh, lately I, I've had some family issues, uh, stuff going on family-wise, so I wasn't able to do a lot of videos and get a lot of work done, but, uh, let me see if I can grab you guys for go. Seven minutes, uh, all right. So yeah, I mean, I got a truck bed full of stuff. I mean, I got coils I got to put on. I plasti dipped my coils, and that was a horrible, horrible idea, I realized. This is just coming right up anyways. Um, I might even just say fuck it and just re-wrap re it if it's not coming off as easily I want it to. Might just re-wrap them, throw them on there, and leave them on there until uh, I change out my shocks. Got this door pan. I was going to throw three tweeters in it, but now I got an entirely different idea that I want to do. I want to... Uh, basically copy this whole section right here underneath the armrest and uh, basically you just put tape over it and fiberglass it and copy the uh, the contour of it and then what I also want to do is I'm going to do this right here and I'm going to have that going throughout the entire contour so it looks factory but I'm going to open up the gaps so maybe do like, you know, a little bit bigger of a space so you can see in and see the speakers. And I want to do two speakers on each door. Two, two. And then if I wanted to, I got so much room, I could do speakers right in there. Um, let's see if I can get in here. Uh, yeah, it's just too dark. But we'll get, a, we'll get around to that later. Um, got other projects. I got lots of projects coming. So uh, please do stay tuned. I mean... After I get the truck done, we're going to be working on this go-kart and putting a system in it. i got a fatty system going in this truck right now, so uh, I'll get back to that. Uh, Y'all have a, have a good day, good night, whatever day it is, night, whatever you're watching. Uh, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit that like button. Show me a little love. And uh, I'm going to try to make better videos. I'm going to try to uh, speak a little louder, I suppose. It is nighttime, so I'm speaking kind of soft. I do have neighbors. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, come back for the next video. Thanks.